Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. A few years back, we aired a special segment about convertibles. We assembled every convertible available in the U.S. market. If we tried to do that today, we'd need a super wide-angle lens to include all the cars in the group shot. Even though there are lots of convertibles, the industry has yet to fill the void left by the passing of the traditional British Roadster. Big Heelys and TR6s will never return. But now there is a convertible that comes close to giving the same kinds of sensations, Mazda's RX-7 convertible. One of the best things about those great British Roadsters is that they were more than just convertibles. They were sports cars. The same can be said of the RX-7, a machine that has built an enviable reputation among driving enthusiasts. That's something that's not easy to accomplish among the tradition-bound sports car fraternity. The RX-7 built this reputation by offering performance wrapped in a thoroughly modern package that's well-tuned to current consumer taste. But there was one essential element missing, wind. So Mazda made that final connection to the Roadsters of yesterday and now offers the RX-7 convertible. Mazda did more than just chop the top off an RX-7. Special care has been taken to give the convertible a unique identity. Convertible features include 15-inch BBS alloy wheels, aero design mirrors, and fixed front quarter windows. And wonder of wonders, a real trunk instead of a hatch. If that trunk looks small, it's because it is. Remember, however, that this is a sports car built for the driver's pleasure, not the passenger's luggage. The key to any Roadster is the convertible top, and Mazda has introduced some striking innovations in soft top design. One example is this wind blocker. It folds up when the top is down and does a commendable job of cutting cockpit turbulence. The folded top resides under a conventional soft boot that's fastened with these push-on snaps. They're quite secure when they work. The top itself displays another innovation, a rigid overhead panel that insulates and helps cut interior noise down to a commendable 69 decibels. It's now just a matter of flicking a switch and fastening two latches to secure it. A far cry from wrestling with the crude canvas top of an old British roadster. And yes, it does have standard power windows. The easy-to-operate top will be especially appreciated if you have to reach the spare tire, which is under a panel behind the seats. An additional feature is the ability to remove the hard panel to make a European-style target top. Unfortunately, wind noise is excessive in this mode. There's also a massive blind spot from the rear pillar that cuts vision by over 50% compared to the RX-7 coupe. British tradition dictates that sports cars draw power from an inline six-cylinder. Mazda takes a different approach with a 1.3-liter rotary that makes 146 horsepower and 138 pound-feet of torque. Despite the design, this engine still gives the torquey feel and singing exhaust note that characterize those old British sixes if you use your imagination just a little. It also propels the rear-drive RX-7 down the quarter mile in only 17 seconds at 82 miles per hour. Zero to 60 comes in at 9.2 seconds. The five-speed shifter, with its long throws, makes really fast shifts difficult, but it makes up for that by being one of the most accurate manual units on the market. Our test car felt a bit sluggish compared to other RX-7s we've tested, no doubt due to the convertible's almost 400-pound weight increase over the basic coupe. That extra weight also cuts into the handling, increasing front-end plow and cutting a bit of the crispness off the RX-7's normally light-footed stance. But this is right in line with the feel of the big British roadsters that this car emulates. Knife-edge handling is not necessary or even desirable. Working a little harder at the wheel is part of the fun. Quick emergency maneuvers emphasize this. Keep your attention on the road and a firm hand on the wheel and you'll get through. And we know you'll enjoy it. Braking exhibits all the advantages of current technology. The four-wheel disc hauled the car down from 55 and 110 feet. There's none of the adventure of trying to stop a British sports car in this Mazda. You glide to straight, short stops with a feeling of utter confidence. Environment has a lot to do with driving pleasure. And the RX-7 parts with tradition in a most pleasurable way. 
No short, hard seats and basic instruments here. This interior is modern and comfortable, especially with the addition of the optional leather interior package. The RX-7's dash is one of the best designs on the market and has had a strong influence on dash designs by other manufacturers. The pod-mounted rotary switches and compact handlebar stocks are an excellent blend of clean form and efficient function. And the comprehensive instrument cluster is better than anything that ever lived in a Triumph. The RX-7 seats offer only the most basic manual adjustments. They're well designed and very comfortable, but the long pedal reach and close wheel position make it hard for shorter drivers to find an optimum driving position. Sound though is the optimum. This AM FM cassette stereo with an optional compact disc player delivers enough power to hear music clearly with the top down in an artillery barrage. And just to make sure, optional headrest mounted speakers are available. By now, you've no doubt noticed that this is not our usual ice-cold road test. We are being a bit more emotional about this car than most. But that's because the RX-7 convertible's qualities tap an emotional vein that few cars are capable of reaching. Tapping a silver vein wouldn't hurt either when you're lusting after a car that starts at $21,550 and comes to $24,050 with its only option package. Unfortunately, it's not quite the bargain that its British predecessors were, even by today's standards. Nor were we delighted with all the details of the top design, such as the large blind spot and excessive wind noise in Targa mode. But the pleasures are almost endless. The RX-7 matches its predecessors in pure driving pleasure with its beautiful handling and brisk singing engine. It then beats them with one of the most secure convertible tops ever, superior brakes, and an interior that also beats most current cars for comfort and efficiency. So if you want the joy of driving one of those great British roadsters, but don't want to spend the next year locked in a garage sweating over a rusted TR250, Mazda's RX-7 convertible may be just the ticket. It's the best of old and new wrapped up in one exhilarating package.